she's expecting, but that doesn't stop her from doing that. <laughs> I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> this picture is Kaylin. Um, she's my beautiful seven year old daughter. She was perfectly healthy. Um, my daughter was a very outgoing child. She was shy at times, but she made her presence known. She loved animals. She always tried to get her father to bring a bunch of animals home and take care of them and keep them all. <laughs> um, she loved her brothers and sisters, her brother and her sisters very much. She um, was Miss Mom to them. She loved to take care of them. Um, she means the world to our family. She no longer with us. Um, on December 2nd she received her seasonal flu shot at her well child checkup where she was perfectly healthy. Um, on December 6, 2011 at 10.30 a.m. she was pronounced dead about 92 hours after her seasonal flu shot. Um, my daughter's adverse reactions were first she had a headache she got a high fever. It was 102.3 with Tylenol. Um, after that, she started to vomit throughout the night. And the next morning, she woke up. She went to the restroom. She was going potty. And she said, Mommy, I feel like I don't know where I am. I figured it was from the fever and just being disoriented. Um, she slept most of the day that day. She got up for 15 minutes to color with her little sister and went and laid back down for the rest of the night. She was tossing, turning, her body hurt. Um, we woke up on the 6th and she was cold, she had purple blotches on her arms and her legs. She was cold. Her temperature was 96.2. Um, I called the doctor's office. They said to bring her in at 10 a.m. Um, I got her dressed. This is about 8.30ish. I got her dressed. The next thing I know, her lips are purple. We rushed her to the hospital. My mom was driving. I was in the back holding her, trying to warm her up. And she stopped breathing in my arms about a mile from the hospital. Um, they fought for a couple hours to try to bring her back to us, but there was no saving her. Since then, I've done a lot of research, um, and I found out the ingredients in vaccines. I've found out adverse reactions. They're not as rare as people think. They, um, if I knew now what I didn't know then, my daughter would be with us today. Um, now, after all. Our tragedy, we have to fight for Kaylin. We have to fight for the truth. We've hired a lawyer. We have to do lots of paperwork. Because the vaccines and doctors don't, vaccine companies and doctors don't have, they have a non liability program. You have to go to a special vac vaccine, federal vaccine court where you have to fight to prove your case. Um, now while we're, we're grieving the death of our beautiful seven-year-old Kaylin, now we have to worry about our philosophical exemption being taken away um, for our other kids. Once you have one child that's been, had an adverse reaction, it's a good chance your other kids will too. So now I have to worry about the government taking away my philosophical core exemption to not have my other kids vaccinated, put them in harm's way. Um, I won't stop fighting until S199 and H527 is opposed and thrown out. Um, it should be a parent's choice. It's supposed to be a free country and parents should not have to 
decide whether to harm their child or not. You want to vaccinate your children? Do research. That's your choice. If you don't want to go with the CDC schedule, that should be your choice. It's not, it shouldn't be a law. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank